Welcome to Solo 3V. Today I'm going to give three reasons why Andrew Tate blew up on social media or went viral repeatedly in 2022, okay? Now, there are obviously more than three reasons. However, I wanted to break three main reasons down as to why he has been going viral, why he's garnered such a huge following, okay? There are a multitude of different reasons, so, but I'm going to break these three down. So let's get into it. Number three, dedication. A lot of people think that Andrew Tate just started to blow up about six months ago or in, in 2022. Actually, Andrew Tate has been in YouTube, Twitter, social media for many years, and he's been, you know, trying to build his brand up and whatnot. But what Andrew Tate did differently, particularly from what I noticed, because I've been aware of Andrew Tate now for about two or three years, right? But what I noticed about Tate is what he did differently, particularly uh, last year, is that he started to appear more on other social media platforms, particularly Fresh and Fit, and also other social media platforms that necessarily don't have to do anything with dating or the manosphere. And this got him a lot of traction, right? A lot of visibility. But his dedication is that just because he didn't go viral back in 2015 or 2016 when he first started YouTubing, he kept at it. He kept working on it, right? Until he finally figured out the algorithm and figured out uh, how to be in tune with uh, the generation, Generation Z, younger men, right? That 18 to 35 market, he, he's he got that unlocked. Uh, maybe even younger than that, right? He's an inspiration for young men, teenagers, young boys, because he's got that, that you know, James Bond persona, right? So his dedication, his work ethic uh, to continuing to evolve his social media platforms and brands is one of the reasons. Now, reason number two is authenticity. Uh, Andrew Tate, has a persona that looks bigger than life. He looks like the real James Bond, okay? He's got the 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 physique. He's got the the women. He's got the toys, the Bugatti, okay? Andrew Tate uh, matches the image or the optics of what a lot of young men aspire to, right? A lot of young men want to be like Andrew Tate. They want to be like a James Bond or Tony Stark's somebody cool. And if you look at a lot of the men that are in the Manosphere space, a lot of those guys don't necessarily have Andrew Tate's image. Andrew Tate, for example, was already an accomplished uh, kickboxer, a fighter, right? He was already a millionaire where you see a lot of Manosphere content creators, they don't typically become millionaires until they enter the space. Andrew Tate also looks like a guy who, and talks like a guy who gets women, particularly beautiful women. You know, in the manosphere, you have guys that, uh, they, you know, their origin story, they never got women until they became successful. Or you got guys that say they get eights, nines, and tens, and then you see their girlfriend is a five who's a single mother, right? And Andrew Tate, his image matches who he is optically and he also has an image that is good for the mainstream where um you know he's not a, a bad looking guy and and that gives him a bigger audience where if it was some basement dweller in his uh you know who sits in his basement uh, drinking hennessy trying to give you advice on how to get hot chicks uh, wouldn't be believable right it wouldn't be authentic so andrew tate has the authenticity he also is willing to speak his mind, his truth, and that can be very polarizing, right? But this is something that young men aspire to because of the fact that now we live in a generation where you can't be authentic. You got to be politically correct. And if you're authentic, you're considered polarizing. Uh, they might call you misogynist or whatever, right? And Andrew Tate is very authentic. And, and, and to be able to um, Ghana following like that, you have to be authentic. Even if people say, well, he's faking it, he's a character, this and that, you got to be authentic because there is a part of Andrew Tate that is bigger than life. 
And you see that with the receipts, the lifestyle of him uh, and the Bugattis and the women and all of that, that Andrew has mastered that in his life, right? Now, number one, marketing. Andrew Tate's marketing is the main reason why he's been able to go viral so many times that, uh, you know, he became the most Googled man uh, in August of 2022, even more Googled than the president of the United States, right? And Andrew Tate did something that no content creator has done to my knowledge. Not He monetized his content by decentralizing it. Let me explain. So basically, if you sign up for Andrew Tate University, right, and you promote his product, you get an affiliated cut. It's not a lot, but you still get paid. Also, Andrew Tate told his followers or his subscribers or viewers that, hey, share my product, uh, you know, put it out there. And a lot of YouTubers or social media content creators don't want to do that because you don't want somebody else to monetize off of your hard work, which is very understandable. But Tate had a bigger long-term vision. Tate says, you know what? I'll take the hit on maybe not being able to monetize all of my YouTubes and TikToks, but the vision is if I have somebody who starts to watch me, they will find me. They will find Hustlers University 2.0. And guess what? Him, him then getting another, um, another student at Hustlers University 2.0 means that he has another steady stream of uh, monthly income coming in, which is actually smart, right? So Tate decided, I'm not going to rely on the Google AdSense or the AdSense of the social media platform. I'm going to rely on my own platform, which is Hustlers University 2.0. And this is a very smart thing that Tate did. And a lot of social media content creators, um, when they're baffled as to how Tate exploded, this is why, because now you have TikTok accounts, YouTube accounts with hundreds of thousands or even millions of views and also hundreds of thousands of followers on these TikTok accounts or YouTube accounts. And these accounts are not ran by Andrew Tate. They're ran by his fan base, his follower base. And this is genius because it's kind of like Hydra, right? In, in Captain America, Hydra, they're these villains where they don't have a leader. If you cut off, kill one, another one will rise up. Well, this is how Andrew Tate has monetized his, his, his content where his TikTok kept getting shut down. So guess what? Now you have 100 or 200 Andrew Tate followers with TikTok channels that are blowing up. If you shut one down, they just keep coming back up and keep coming back up. YouTube-wise, it's the same thing. There's still Andrew Tate YouTube channels that are getting hundreds of thousands of views, right? And it's very hard for these social media platforms to shut them all down unless they just shadow ban his name throughout, which they haven't done yet, right? But these are three reasons why... Um, Andrew Tate has blown up on social media and obviously there are other reasons, right? And listen, guys, I'm not a fan of censorship or shadow ban. I think that he should be allowed to say what he wants on YouTube as long as he's not hurting anybody or, you know, uh, causing people to, you know, uh, inciting violence, which I, ha you know, Andrew Tate hasn't done. To my knowledge, he's not inciting violence or anything like that, right? So I think he should be allowed to speak. But anyway, guys, you let me know what you think of this video. It's your boy Jones, Solo3V, and I'm out. Peace.